stands on the sideline. It's a mess. <laughs> I'm back and I'm so, so excited and relieved. I feel like driving into the city last night and seeing the skyline, I felt literally like a 500 pound weight just leave my shoulders. Being gone for honestly like almost five whole months, which is absolutely insane. So I am so happy to be home and so relieved. It feels so good, even though my room is an absolute disaster. I'm excited to just get it in shape, get back on track. I went and took a COVID test this morning and then I'm going to quarantine. So this video is just gonna be me in my apartment quarantining and cleaning, essentially. I'm really sweaty, it's so, so hot here and I probably have like many, many hours of cleaning ahead of me, but stay tuned if you like a good cleaning vlog. I'm gonna probably get rid of a bunch of stuff in my closet because if I haven't really worn it from the past five months through cold season and a warm season, I probably don't need it in my life. So I'm hoping to really minimize my closet and just like get rid of as much as possible, throw away some dead plants, do some deep cleaning. So let's get to business. Okay, for reference, this is the before. A mess, truly a mess. The bags are my fault, but we have a ton of boxes. I'm gonna do an unboxing later. Closet is a mess as well. And so I'm hoping by the end to have it sparkling clean. Shout out to Ashley, best dress for being my plant foster mom. Look at the growth on this guy, he grew so much. I basically am just kind of trying to go through my pieces and figure out for one, what haven't I worn in a while? What am I not like excited to see or don't see myself wearing anytime soon? Living with a suitcase of just like two weeks worth of clothing and not having a whole lot really helped me realize that I actually enjoy having less and it makes me feel a lot more free. Um, of course, I still love clothes and like dressing cute and all the good stuff, but I'm also excited to just have a lighter load and a more empty space. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Well, this really stresses me out. But if I can get rid of like 30% of what's in here, I will be a very happy gal. Also, I'm sorry the audio is gonna suck, but it's just, it would be inhumane to try to film without AC. It's like 90 degrees today, so we're just, the AC is gonna be out in the background. I'm gonna go with it. I'm a mess, my hair's a mess, but I'm happy and it feels so good to just like purge and get rid of as much as possible. Like happy and stressed and tired all at the same time. And I'm listening to Queen, Don't Stop Me Now. What a good time. from our sponsors, which side note I'm very excited about because if you've noticed, I, mean, I guess it depends on when this video is up, I haven't had a sponsor since like early May. And your girl still needs to make that coin. Plus, this is a sponsor I'm stoked on. Today's video is sponsored by Case Defy. If you're unfamiliar with what Case Defy is, it's a tech accessory band specializing in cases for iPhones, AirPod cases, watch bands, the whole deal. Their journey towards sustainability is continuously ongoing, which I love. So they launched this new thing called hashtag Case Defy Conscious to help protect your phone while protecting the planet. This beautiful case right here is 100% compostable. You can see I customized mine right here and it says howdy. I actually have a couple of them, but this one I really like and the color's lovely. It's made from bamboo-based materials and it's 100% biodegradable and compostable. And she's cute. 
and she's cute and protective. And it's free of virgin plastic, it's strong, flexible, eco-friendly, doesn't leave any toxins behind. But one thing that I really love with what they're doing is that a tree is planted for every single case spot. And it's approved for drops up to four feet, so unfortunately I wish I had this case earlier because my phone's really broken. <laughs> Don't trust me with nice things, apparently. But you can drop it from four feet and the bumpers are gonna keep your phone safe. One other thing I love about them is their eco-friendly packaging, so their case, but also like the box that I received it in is also free of virgin plastic. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, you can go to casedefy.com backslash Elena to get 20% off for a compostable case and help plant a tree. Time to get back to cleaning. I'm a little overwhelmed, but I know it needs to get done and I will feel so much better once everything's clean, so let's get to it. third shirt because I literally sweat through the last three but here we are I've literally been cleaning for the past six hours and doing a massive closet clean out I got rid of five trash bags of clothing which I'm very proud of I didn't even know I had that much clothing but I basically got rid of just like anything I thought I might be wouldn't wear I feel so much better and relieved now that my room is a lot cleaner I am so so happy to be back if you saw my last California vlog, I talked a little bit about the difference of living in New York versus California and just the way the two places make me feel. I like could not stop crying when I was driving from the airport yesterday. Like, thank God for masks because my Uber driver was probably like, what is wrong with this chick? Like very happy, relieved tears as soon as I saw the skyline. A lot of people were like, California seems like where you belong. But while I love it there, it is just a different way of living and it's not the way I want to live my life at the moment and I feel like New York energy here is chaotic but incredible and I love that it challenges me and pushes me. I don't know, it feels like my life is here. That, I mean, that is still obviously could change. Who knows, maybe in six months from now, I'm like miserable and I'm like, all right, okay, what's next? Like, what's gonna make me have like the best mental health? But, like my heart is just overflowing. I'm, <sighs> this is the happiest I've been in a while. Let's just leave it at that. Cool. If you don't enjoy PR unboxing, which I know some people know, this was your chance. Just skip ahead. Like rad, clean beauty, ethical, all the good things. Ooh, look at these beautiful colors. How do I look? Do I look cute? So this is from Pauline in Paris. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, hold the front door. Oh, I just, I can't. My words, this is so gorgeous. Just look. I love this. They are incredible. Sustainable. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ah, these are gonna be my go-to pants. Oh, I can already tell. And they have a much more sustainable process of creating them. They're good, which I'm a huge fan of. They use, let's see what it says. Save water and save Mother Earth. Birthday candles! I freaking love candles! Okay, this is called Birthday Candles. Combining the fields of astrology, tarot, and numerology, we've crafted 365 beautiful candles, one for every day of the year. Scorpio. I actually don't know anything about astrology, but how cute is that? Those born November 12th, no matter their age or gender, tend towards romance and radiantly imaginative view of the world, which may be a result of the Scorpio typical relationship to the unconscious. I don't know. It smells good. I'm excited. Now that I've just had second Christmas, basically, um, I'm gonna clean up the boxes. I have to get some editing done. So, yeah, wow. Very grateful and overwhelmed.
quarantine diary. Did a little workout here this morning and then deep cleaned the fridge, cleaned the floors. There's just a lot of like accumulated dirt that just needed some like elbow grease in it. So, oh, hi. You want me to take it from here? Yeah. What's up 500K? This is Fletcher giving the people what they really want. Breakdown on New York City. Still the greatest city in the world. Of course, we have people saying that the cities of America will never be the same. Well, um, let me tell you something, people. They said that after 9-11. They said that after the 2008 financial crisis. It's not true. Young and driving. Can you tell the followers too that, uh, are they still there? Can you guys follow me on Instagram? I'm just, like, I'm just gonna flat out ask. You know, like, I was at 3K. We're now down to 2.8K, if you can say that. I just don't really feel the same. So ultimately, it's not about me, it's about you. At Fletcher Berryman. I post mediocre photos with my hipster camera that I don't know how to use, and then I blabber for 12 pages on my blog. Hit me up. <laughs> He's a cloud chaser. I'm back, sorry for that little interruption. I'm just kind of resettling in the space, trying to like clean things up. I probably will do some more cleaning after this. Just taking it a day at a time. You enjoy seeing this background again because I'm very happy to be back. Okay, time to do some cleaning. Hello, just getting, oh, there we go. Howdy, how's it going? Just getting some work done. I've got my little to-do list. I'm trying to like catch up on life. As I kind of resettle, I'm prioritizing just like making sure I'm caught up on emails and any like last minute projects. I feel like now that I'm finally back, I'm so much more inspired already to just like hit the ground running. I feel like I have a lot of different projects that I've been wanting to do, but in my head I kind of like compartmentalize them to do in New York. So now that I'm here, I'm excited to get the ball rolling. So I'm just kind of prioritizing my day from like top priorities to like mid tier to things that I just wanna get done eventually, even if it's not for another like week or two, but just something to kind of keep on mind. I'll see yeah, just kind of like catch up. That you are so hard to find. 